The goal for this lecture is to introduce you to the Java enterprise application layers that you see pretty much in every Java application. At the end of it, you will know the different layers and why we need them. Layering is not a new concept. If you are from a computer networks background, you already know the seven different layers wherein the application layer uses the services provided by the presentation layer, the presentation layer uses the services provided by the session layer and so on and so forth. Similarly, in the Java EE world, let's take an example wherein we are developing an application which allows a passenger to check in onto an airline. To do that, we will not put our entire code, the business logic, the presentation logic and the database access logic in one single class. We divide it into multiple classes. So the DAO is going to access the database, the business logic goes into the BO and then the controller is responsible for displaying a beautiful UI onto a browser or a mobile phone. If you want to see it in layers, here it is. We have three different applications which allow the passenger to check in. The kiosk check-in which he can use at the airport, the web check-in which he uses online or from a browser, the mobile check-in of course he is going to use this from his mobile phone. Now our Java E application is divided into presentation layer which does or paint, paints the UI, the deployment layer which could be web services, JMS using which we are going to expose out our application logic to other applications or to other layers in our application. The business logic layer as the name itself says this is where the intelligence of our application goes into or the entire business logic sits in this layer. Finally the data access layer is responsible for connecting to the database and then doing all the CRUD work. In the next few lectures I will show you what technologies goes into which of these layers but the, there are various advantages of having these layers starting with reuse. As you can see the kiosk check-in application and the web check-in application can use the same presentation logic layer if there is no different data flow and if they have common data flow they can both reuse the same presentation logic and we need not code the whole thing again. Similarly we can expose out our business logic through the deployment layer as web services and those restful web services can be easily consumed by the mobile check-in application. Again, we are saving a lot of time. The second big advantage is specialization. You would have seen job postings for front-end developers as well as back-end Java developers. So that is where specialization comes into picture. We can specialize in the presentation area to develop great UIs which give a great presentation or great look for the end users. At the same time, we can be great backend developers specializing in the backend area of developing business logic, writing very good data access code and so on. Scalability. As the user base increases, especially with the online applications today, there are millions of users. If we have our application layered out, we can deploy our layers on different servers and they can communicate with each other in a loosely coupled fashion, especially using web services or JMS. Maintenance, now that we have our applications layered out, if there is an issue with the application or a production issue or it could be an issue anywhere, we can easily isolate it to a particular layer. For example, if there is something wrong with the business logic, we know that we have to focus on the business logic layer. Similarly, if there is a button that is not showing up on the UI, which is a big problem, or if the button is not working as it should be, we can look at the presentation layer code. Change. If you want to change any of these layers, we will not impact the other layers. As long as the contract or the interface of one of these or all of these layers stay intact, the other layers will not be impacted. We can change or replace the technology that we are using in a particular layer or the business functionality itself as long as the interface stays the same. Especially in today's world where technology is evolving, we all need to change the presentation layer or the deployment layer on the fly. So layering allows us to make that change or switch very easily. Finally, we also have an architectural component layer. This is These are the architectural components which our architects come up with typically which can be used across our applications and across these layers. 
these can internally use third party libraries to summarize layering has several advantages layering is where we split our java application into multiple layers instead of putting our entire code into one single huge class or layer the several advantages are reusability specialization scalability maintenance and change once you start working on layers you will realize all these benefits